there is a there's a force force that we all come from right you can call it god you can call it How do you do it? You park- it? That's probably the best way to do it, I think. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend you driving either, especially if you're a student. No, 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 no. That's a long lifetime away from here. Yeah. Anyway. So, man, let me uh, reset. Let's see, am I recording? How are my levels? Good? Look. You look good, man. All right, so. This is what the thing is. Um, it's let's chat. Mm-hmm. You can talk about whatever you want. Uh, I came over here to have really cool conversations because there's that sweet feature, sweet feature over there. Mm-hmm. So I'm just feedbacking on like supernatural beliefs of people. Mm-hmm. I tend to believe that I don't know tends to be the best answer, just full disclosure. But I want to know things that you strongly believe is true, like God's karma, reincarnation, anything like that. Do you have like any spiritual beliefs, or is there anything that you know you can't be wrong about? There is a, there's a force, a force that we all come from. All right. You can call it God. You can call it, you know, whatever you want to call it. Can I get your name? I'm Ty, by the way. Ladarius. Ladarius. Mm-hmm. You got a nickname? Vaughn. Vaughn. Yeah. Man, you got a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. Ladarius. All right. So, you think there's a force that is a God? What how, what does this force do in the real world? Like, what's its impact? It creates it. It creates. You could call it. You could call it. You could call it Mother Nature, but it's mm. on a it's on a universal scale. It's on a galaxy scale. Okay, what's some examples? Shit, the trees, like everything that's natural about Earth. You know. Is there anything that exists that it did not create? Like empty space. I mean, or even like rocks, even then, farts. No, no, no. AIDS. Because it's, it's, reli- like, it's related to yeah. us. You know what I'm saying? It's like man created AIDS. Mm. But who created us? I see what you're saying. So it's, it's, like a, it's like a link effect. So this force created everything. Yes. How confident are you that that's true? Pretty confident. I mean, it's, it's, like, a, it's like this whether you're a scientist or whether you're just religion. You like, could be a, a religious scientist. Yeah, or you, you could can, be. You could be a like, scientist that's religious. Yeah, they're not I'm exclusive. Yeah. Oh my god! Did Chris and I was telling you the FBI came in <gasps> in the middle of the night and like. Some people talk about like the craziest hardcore stuff that they walk <laughs> past. It's like, oh my god! Did you know? Yeah, the dead body was in the cabinet. Did Can you, you know? Wear? Did you know Chris and Simon? What? I'm like, hold on. That's not speakerphone. Come on. All right. Anyway. All right. Anyway. Um, FBI. Do you believe everything was created by this being, right? was created by it i don't well see that's the thing i don't think it's i'm not gonna put like i'm not gonna try to personify it or everything is a creation by this force yes okay and you are very confident that's true would you say you're absolutely confident like to the point where you know you can't be wrong basically yeah there's nothing that would convince you that you're incorrect you're like closed-minded on it no are you at least open to doubt to a little extent i'm open to a dialect but to see the way i the position I take is mm. more of a I always try to look at I come from a place of under, I try to come from a place of understanding and not mm. a place of judgment not I a understand. place of like closed mindedness mm. one thing throughout my life one thing I understood is like okay take him for example he's referring to a street preacher that's just down that yeah yeah is. take street preacher right yeah, yeah, yeah he's over there telling everybody like you don't do if you don't if you don't do this or well, if you're doing this this and this and this you're going to hell mm. you know and if you don't believe in this 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 and this then you're lost or you're not one of us or stuff like that mm. that's not for someone who doesn't know like me how would I know that you were more correct than he was you wouldn't I mean it's really just it's really about perspective that's what life is all life is centered around perspective is it possible to have a perspective that's incorrect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what's getting you to your certainty that you are correct? Correct in as far as, like, I believe, like, this life force created all of us? Yes. Science. Because my Ooh, science. Yeah. Hold up. Let's, let's help. 
How you doing? That's a nice guy. Passing truck a little bit. Okay. All right, so you said there's science that supports your position? Yeah. That everything was created by a life force? Like a big bang theory. I mean, you feel me? It's just like that. Would you say then that um, there's evidence that's measurable, testable, to support your belief? Yeah. What kind of, what's the best example? The Big Bang Theory, and just how, just like how plants like photosynthesize or how, how they feed themselves, like that, that, that want, power has to come from somewhere. How does, oh, I hear what you're saying. That power has to come from somewhere. That power has to come from somewhere. Why does it have to come from somewhere? Man, the way this world is, I mean, it doesn't have to come from somewhere, but as humans, it eases our mind and makes mm. life easier. Is something that's easier to believe true, necessarily? No, not at all. Then why does why does something existing prove that it was created? Like, for example, we can both point at a tree or a rock or empty mm -hmm. space and say, that exists, but how do we have evidence that it was created by a life force? In my, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like the life force is, like, what scientists say, mm -hmm. like, Take simple processes of life. Yeah. You waking up every morning. Yeah. But there's a scientific way that we know this is why you wake up in the morning. Your neurotransmitters does this. It yeah, yeah, your yeah. Body like up like that. rhythm. All that um, process. Who, who made us that way? Who, who said like, okay, your brain is gonna do this, mm -hmm. and that's gonna, that's gonna cause this, mm -hmm. and that's how you're gonna wake up. Mm. Who made that process? Or, or not even, not even. I wouldn't even say who, because I feel like if I say who, that means like I'm personifying. Yeah, this. like that needs to have an intellect. Yeah, and it an has to have like it. a, you know, it has to. But I don't, I don't feel like. Okay, it's like this. Perfect mm -hmm. example. It's like, you know how they say like heaven and hell and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily believe in heaven. I feel like we have to make our heaven on earth mm -hmm. because when we die, physically, okay, physically dying is just your cells stop reproducing. Mm -hmm. Your body just rots out. So, this time we have on this earth, this is just our time of consciousness. You think this is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, it, this is it as far as consciousness. Mm. Like, you're not going to, when you die, I feel like your soul is going to be released back into this energy or this, like, like vibes or something. You never you yeah. ever felt like a certain yeah. vibe or somebody, like, all of, all of the vibe, you know, all karma, all of that. It's just... It's hard to explain, but it's everything is related. Everything is. But I guess what I'm asking you is, you said that everything's created by stuff, by a force. Mm -hmm. But the only proof that we have of that is that it exists. Yeah. Things exist. If you ask, if I said I don't believe something exists, and you said, and you showed me something existing, I'd be like, oh, you've convinced me. That's definitely proof that it exists. But if you need a, if you're making the claim that something was created, what proof do you have that something was created? How do you recognize a creation? Can I can I throw something out again? The way how I recognize that something was created versus something that wasn't created is I'll make a model in my head of what something that looks like if it was created and something that looks like if it's not created. Then you'll present something to me and I'll be like, I know what things that are not created look like and it doesn't look like that. But I know what things are created and this looks like one of those things. Therefore, it's pretty good recognition that this is created. I need to have two sets of things, not created and created. But you're saying everything's created, like down to dark matter, empty space, farts, aids, everything. So what are you using as a frame of reference to come to the conclusion that everything's created if you may not have a way to know what something that's not created looks like? Ignorance. Ignorance is not created by the life force? No, I'm saying that's how I'm, that's how I'm making sense of it. Mm. I don't see... Is I, ignorance I, a really good way to be 100% or near 100% confident about something? No, but emotional-wise, it makes us humans. It, it convinces us. Mm. And it, it convinces us that what we believe in mm -hmm. or what we think is right. Mm. And that, in turn, helps us sleep at night. Can I ask you something? Do you care if your beliefs are true? I mean, to be honest... Even if they don't make you sleep well at night? I don't know. It's like... I'm in the middle. Mm. 
like say if Christianity was like the real religion, it's the religion that we're sure. supposed to follow and sure, stuff sure. like that. Yeah. Right now, the way the way they're describing it, that's not something I would follow. I, I don't you. want to follow a religion that's going to condemn people just because I don't know who you are. I hear or you. Something like I hear that. you. I hear you. And I don't, you know. But what if it turned out that the truth was that there was no life force, that things are just here? Would that be I feel as like, appealing? No, I feel like if that, that was would, true, would you want to know that? I would. Not that I have the answer, and I'm not claiming I do. But if if it was true that there was no life force, would that be something you'd want to know? Yes. Even though it would cause insanity, I would want to know. Honestly, what would be a good way to know that then? I don't know, man. Mm. I mean, research or something. But at the same time, there are functions, there are things and functions in this earth that we just can't explain. So how about this? Maybe instead of making the proclamation that something exists or something doesn't exist, and I brought this up with the last person I was talking to, there's a very valid middle position that essentially says, I don't know yet, but I'm waiting to be convinced once I have good evidence. It's like that coin flip. Did I show you that example yet? Uh -huh. So I got a coin, right? It be heads or tails, it's a quarter. It's not a magical coin. Catch it. It's on the back of my hand now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's heads or tails right now. Do you know if it's heads or tails right now? No. Okay, so, um, I mean, we can go to science and ask them to flip a thousand coins in a lab, but they're going to give me back 50-50. That's not conclusive. Exactly. I'm like, okay, I'm waiting. I could have faith that it's heads, but that's not going to work. Probably satisfy that guy over there, but it's not going to work for us, right? It could still, it won't change the odds, right? And I could have, it could make me feel really, really good if it was heads. Like I can go to sleep at night and make me not go crazy, but realistically that's not gonna affect whether or not this coin flips is heads or tails. So I think right now, what we just gave, I don't know, I don't know, is actually not just an option, but the best answer until we have conclusive evidence. Maybe I don't know until I have better information is a perfectly intellectually honest place to be. The middle. The middle. Yeah. I the default like, is how yeah, I call it. I feel like in life you have to be able to live in the middle. Like you're, you know that yin and yang thing. Yeah. I feel like you have to be able to live with on that border. Because it's like okay, perfect example. Mm. Say if you were born in in light where you've never seen darkness. Right. One, you wouldn't know what darkness was. Yeah. How do you and, make that frame of reference? Yeah, and you wouldn't appreciate the light that you have. Yeah. It's so kind of like, like like throughout my life. I have been through like a lot of pain, mm. but because of all the pain that I've been through, I feel like personally, I'm the happiest person that you will meet. Nice. Because I wouldn't know what true happiness was if I didn't go through true pain. Or things that were not happiness, right? Yeah. And you have to, you have to be able to live with that polar opposite. Like, you wouldn't know like, okay, you wouldn't know what true happiness is unless you experienced true sadness. Right. You know, you wouldn't know what You wouldn't know what a creation is until you saw something that wasn't a creation. Yeah, or you wouldn't know like you wouldn't appreciate you wouldn't appreciate light if it wasn't for darkness. Yeah. You wouldn't appreciate you wouldn't appreciate the glory if it wasn't for the struggle. Right. Like those in life, I've noticed you have to be able to just like live in the middle be right like, yeah my life isn't all happiness but it isn't all pain either. right right and right you have to be like yeah like okay we're religion right i don't know i like, don't know i, I don't think know. that's a good answer yeah i don't know but until like it's like okay until i, I got better information yeah and yeah. let's prove to that's why like with my man's over there yeah. i went up to him i was just like everybody's everybody's listening to you yeah. to reply i'm mm. listening to you to try to understand like mm. where you're coming from mm. because I don't know. Like, I'm not religious. I would say I'm spiritual, mm. but I'm not religious. Like, mm. growing up, my... What do you mean by spiritual? Uh, basically, just believing... I believe, like, there... I believe there is a, a higher power out there. Does that fall back into the life force? Yeah. How did you determine that could be something worth your belief? Beyond I don't know. Mm. Like, right now, I don't know if the life force or the higher power exists so I'm not claiming it doesn't I'm trying to figure out what's the method that you use to come to that belief that you have and are you very certain in that belief and if you are do you have a reliable method to reach there that validates that confidence that you have no I don't have a reliable way just because what I believe in and the way I the way I got to believing in it it was because of the 
specific situations that I personally went through. Right, so the personal like, like experiences? I, yeah, so like I said, through the pain that I went through, mm -hmm. my my out or what made me feel better was, like say if I come out here and I just sit on that ledge yeah. and I just appreciate everything that's natural mm -hmm. about the world. Like I look at the trees, like one thing, when I was going through my depression, one thing that helped me was to come out and sit down and just wonder like, these trees, the leaves of these trees and the grass, they have been green since the beginning of time. Why? Since the beginning of time? I, was, I, I mean, I've never I've never seen a tree, you feel me? Basically, okay, all the trees you see, <laughs> all the leaves and stuff, they're green. Like, the bark yeah. is brown. Yeah. Like, some, the dirt is brown. Like, yeah. there's some colors in the earth mm -hmm. that are just natural. And, like, I, would, I don't know who or what or how that came about. Mm. But I just what if that was the best answer right there? I don't know how, who, or what, how these things came about. Period. Yeah, I mean that's really that's really what I get into because like finishing that sentence, I was just finish that statement. I would just say I don't know who or what or how this came about, but I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate mm, you for nice. You can still appreciate life yeah. without having to know who made the ultimate yeah. universe and or what made it and that's why and yeah, I didn't you still this, have a lot of beliefs yeah. and stuff like that and yeah. that's why I didn't want to say this over there but nah, I feel you. that's why I feel like with all these religions and stuff yeah. it's like a it's like a divide mm. it's like a it's like a control thing it's like okay take the Ten Commandments for example like if you didn't have if you didn't have a major religion or a law mm. telling you that murder was wrong mm. how how easy would you be to do it or like if you didn't have something inhibiting you from yeah if you didn't have terrible. these beliefs that have been like beaten into you mm. from slavery time mm. well, just with us yeah our ancestors yeah. we had this religion beaten into us yeah to believe like okay like your jesus doesn't look like you he's white he has exactly. silky hair yeah, yeah, yeah. he has blue, blue eyes. eyes and he's from africa yeah yeah, yeah. Well, Okay. And he's got a friend named Paul and Tom yeah, and Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Luke. Chad, I'm like, no, wait, he, from Jerusalem? Yeah, yeah Luke? you know what I'm saying? And really? Are you serious? It's like, so it's like, okay. Hmm. And they and if you realize, I mean, if you, I'm pretty sure you know, but they use Christianity as a way to control the slaves, control the masses. Like they look, use, do you think they use major religions to control people now? Most definitely. I think it's the same thing. I think it's the same situation. Most definitely. Because if you didn't. Except now we got the slaves teaching their kids mm -hmm. how to do the point black people teach you how to black people. But really, we're all in cop in the situation. The reason why I do things like this is just to help people figure out, give themselves a chance to think about something they never got an opportunity to think about. Because in a religious frame set, people aren't given the opportunity to critically think about what they believe. They're they not. just trust that yeah. the higher ups know what's up. Faith. But I'm trying to do this to give people a chance to calibrate their confidence on stuff. And I find like when people get a chance to really think about how they arrived at a conclusion, if it's not a reliable path that they use, they do one of two things. Either get a better way there, which is great because I'm told, I'm not about telling them that they're wrong. I want them just to get a better way of getting to whatever they're Question your beliefs. Question exactly. what. And if you figure yeah. out there is a, a, a life force that's true, I want to know about it. Yeah, exactly. But if it turns out that you can't find a good way, you at least be more open to the idea that there might be other options out yeah, there. Exactly. And who knows what those could be. But I think, I don't know is absolutely a good place to be at. Yeah, it yeah. Is. I mean, I don't know, man. It's just, with everything we didn't been through, yeah. whatever, I feel like, I feel like humans are the smartest, most evil race that's out there. Probably also the good, most good and gen most generous yeah, 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 and yeah. the strongest and the weakest. Yeah. It's, it's we're, just, we're, we're everything. We're everything, But at man. the same time, there are some there are some of us that look at the rest of us yeah. as nothing mm. and that's not okay it's true that's not okay it's true like my mom she did 20 years in the military okay my mom's in the military too yeah she did what, two. what branch army my mom was army too yeah. dad's army sister navy mm -hmm. i got every branch my family too like they're all they're all military yeah and if i went up my mom she has seen at least three presidents right all right and if I went to each of those presidents and I asked, do you know who Cassandra, Sergeant Cassandra Hobbs is? They mm. they would say no. Right. Even though she's been working. Yeah. Even years, though she's putting her life on the line yeah. to protect our freedoms, you don't know her name. Right. But you have the authority to say, okay, I want you to give your life for this 
patriotism or mm. something like that. Mm. You don't even know her name. Mm. Like, can I tell you something about the life force? Mm -hmm. When we started this conversation, it sounded like you're really confident about it. I mean, you're like pointing to the trees and so on. Look at the trees. That's proof that it exists. At the end of this conversation, are you more, you even said you were closed-minded on it. Or would you be more open to the idea that maybe the full picture isn't there and maybe I don't know is probably a nicer place to be in? I'm not saying you have to go there, but do you think you'd be more open to that? I would be more open. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I take I don't know. I don't take I take the I don't know stance on a lot of issues. I because, think that's a good place to be. Yeah, because honestly, I just I don't know. Like some to a lot of questions, especially with, with the way the world works and the complexity of even with the complexity of our brain, there's mm. a lot of stuff about our brain that we just yeah, don't our know. brain is like a weird little yeah, thing. Like also, though you say our brain, you mean like there's there's like two schools of thought. There's people who are like. Your brain, my brain says blah blah blah, but I say this, this, that. Mm. Like, are you are you cool with the idea that your brain is you? What do you think, what do you mean my brain is me? Like, there's your brain and then there's you, but like they're really both this one and the same. Do you think that? Like, without your brain, there's a body, but it's not Ladarius. Like, most definitely, that is a non-functioning body at that point. Most definitely, but. With you, without your arm, you're still Ladarius. You, mm -hmm. With you, without your legs, you're still Ladarius. But you, without your brain, you're nothing. It's, no, it's a no-go. Yeah. Close shot. So it seems like there's a very strong correlation between you, your brain, and like a spinal cord and all that stuff, and your identity. It seems like there might be one of the same. It's just like, it's just like Willie Lynch said. Break, what do you got? He said, uh, break the mind and the body will follow. I feel like that's the way it is. Yeah, or take the mind or something and the body will follow. Like, like a mind is the extension of the brain, but they are more or less. You need yeah, both. Yeah, like to have the them. brain, the mind. Like, I, well, in my personal opinion, I feel like the brain and the mind are the same thing. Like, our, yeah. our consciousness comes from our brain. Mm. And because I'm a neuroscience major. Oh, look at you, man! Yeah, yeah so you're on the right track. That I sounds pretty good so far. I love. And the only reason I got into that major is because one day, like, like I said, I was out here sitting, thinking, and I was. I was looking at my body and I was just moving my fingers and I was just like, how am I able to do this? But my man over there that has a certain type of disease or something, he can't control his leg or right. he can't control his fingers and stuff like that. Right. And then that's what led me into like just researching your brain and how it controls your body and how the neurotransmitters get sent up, you know, through the synapses and stuff like that, just to give you information and how like all of your your emotions, your eyes, like your eyesight is in the back of your brain. Like right. you might, like I just learned uh, this week that like the right side of your brain controls the left side of basically right, right, right. all of your body. So yeah. it's just like even then, this you see the the, the I forgot I don't know the word, but you see like the correlation of you have to be able to understand and even embrace. Mm -hmm. The opposite or the middle. Like, cool. If you don't know, I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's so. I think I don't know. It's one of the best answers. A lot of people yeah, get yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff. Like it's a lot of stuff in my mind, but it's just I don't know how to say it because I don't understand it and I don't know how to. If you want, I'll be out here again, and if you see me, you want to keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. You want a quick summary, real quick? You, uh, Vaughn or Darius? How do you spell it, Darius? By the way. Oh man, L A D Y. L A D Y. Yeah. Keep going. R I U S. I got that part. <laughs> so, you believe that there was a a force that some people call God that's created the entirety of the universe, but I think you recognize that without a model of what something that's not created looks like, you can't really know for sure or confirm if anything is created at all, and that maybe at least as far as that goes, I don't know might be a good answer, but it doesn't mean that you can't keep appreciating life and other people. And the beauty of nature, like that's not limiting you. It's just that I don't know. It's a good place to be until you have no evidence. Is that pretty fair? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Man. Appreciate that talk. Enjoy. It. Is that cool? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can take a card. I can do a lot of other conversations like this. I was, I was, man, I was hoping you would just I, I sit down and then you would choose the topic. <laughs> he was like, he was like, no, you choose.